know what? Um, the conference play is obviously off and running. We're, we're, we're four games in. Some teams have played five games. And, and um, you know, uh, we, we're off to a, a good start, three and one, and we ran into a really good UT Arlington team. And, and uh, you know, very impressed with the league. Um, you know, very good coaching. A lot of talented players. Um, guys are just, um, you know, making tough shots and are athletic that have been uh, extremely challenging for us. And, um, and then obviously, you know, we got a, we got a tough game on Thursday night with the first place team coming in here and defending champion Lafayette. And, and uh, we're excited about it. We, uh, we have our, our students back in school and, and we haven't had many home games in, um, in December and January. So it's good to be back in front of our fans and play some home games in, in front of our students as well. Thank you, coaches. And Reiner to our members of the media is a star one to get in the queue to ask questions. First questions come from Jarrett with the uh, Sunbelt Digital Network. Jarrett, please go ahead. Hey, Coach. Um, after being picked, uh, finished ninth in the conference early in the season, you guys are off to a pretty good start and tied for second after four games. Have you kind of been using that as motivation? No, we never even brought that up. And, you know, it's it's such a long distance race, and especially – um, I believe, if I'm not wrong, we're the only league that plays 20 conference games. So um, to play four games or some teams that play five, I mean, we're just getting started. So um, you know, we're, we want to grow. We want to keep getting better. That's the only emphasis we put on our guys. We don't talk about, you know, who picked us where or anything like that. Um, I think our guys feel um, that we have a chance to be a good team if we keep working hard, and, and that's good enough for us right now. All right. Um, you guys are – Leading the conference and rebounding margin, has that been kind of an emphasis for the team so far this year? Well, the thing is we, we did the same rebounding drills last year as we did this year. And, and last year I had a 6'6 a six, six center and a 6'3 four man. And, you know, the rebounding didn't work quite as well. Um, but, but now I have, you know, a, a big 6'9 center and I bring another 6'9 athletic guy off the bench and have some guys that have a natural knack to rebound. So um, the, the rebounding numbers have been better. It, it has been an advantage for us. It's been a strength of our team. Um, but, you know, we're doing the same thing we did last year with the undersized team, but now we just have a little more size, and but we're still placing the same emphasis on it because we do believe it's important. I mean, you mentioned last year you, you got – I mean, that was your first season in charge. Now in, in year two, you think the kind of the concepts and the system are better in place? Do you think you now have the talent to, to do what you want to do? Well, we're definitely heading in the right direction. You know, one thing I think you know, noticing a big difference between last year's team and this year's team is, is having returning guys who understand our system. And, um, you know, we have a couple fifth-year seniors, and those guys are tremendous as far as uh, being good leaders, uh, relaying my message. So in a lot of ways it's been easier on me because they take over a leadership role and are able to tell the young guys, you know, how we want it done and how we want to, um, you know, do things in our program. I mean, one of, one of those fifth-year seniors is Jelani, just moved into school's top ten um, for scoring. Can you kind of talk about how the impact he's made on the team? Yeah, you know, Jelani is, is, is tremendous. And, you know, sometimes his, his numbers aren't always going to show what he's doing in the game. But he, he's just grown up so much, even since the time I've been here. You know, last year he led the Southern Conference in scoring. And, and this and this year, and he understood that the team wasn't as good as we were supposed to be or could have been because we, we didn't win a championship last year. But he's willing to sacrifice and do whatever it takes for the team to win. And, and whether it be sacrificing points or, or or playing defense or doing important things, getting the loose balls, he does everything for our team. And, um, you know, he's seen every type of defense so far. You know, people have trapped him. They've denied him and everything else. And, He's getting used to that. You know, he has other good players around him, and, and he's willing to get everybody involved. But his number one focus is winning, and uh, he's been a tremendous leader, and I'm really proud of him. Right. Um, how has uh, non-conference play kind of prepared you for, you know, the beginning of, you know, the long 20-game conference season? Well, we tried not to travel as much non-conference. Um, just knowing how tough this, this conference travel is going to be, and we only had one time we took a flight. Um, that was the first game here to Illinois. But, you know, so we played a lot of home games. Uh, we were trying to get an identity as a team, um, adding new guys and guys in different spots. So we, we, we made some strides. But, you know, we're still, you know, I think learning roles, learning identity. We're, we're nowhere close to where we want to be. But the nine conference definitely gave us um, an advantage on learning a lot of those things. 
right, you said you weren't you weren't close to where you want to be. What what do you still want to see improved on? Well, you know, I, I was really proud of the guys the last two games on the road because I think we started understanding roles and understanding time and situation and and, and where guys are supposed to do and, and, and some of the details of the game. But, you know, right now, you know, we're, we're trying to figure out, you know, who's going to try to score a good spot and then who can help the team in different ways besides scoring and, and adding on the minutes. Um, so i like to like to be able to develop some depth, um, you know, seeing all these Thursday, Saturday games where there's a lot of travel in between. You know, you got to have depth. And, um, you know, so hopefully some young guys can step up and, and expand their roles. And, and then that will take some pressure off some of the older guys who are walking a lot of minutes. All right, is there any particular freshman you're looking to kind of step up? Well, uh, you know, we moved Jake Allsmill in the starting lineup, and, you know, that helps us because he's a, a tremendous shooter, and he, he shot it much better in practice than he has in the games, and I feel like he's close to breaking out. But he helps our spacing and does some things. And, and uh, Devontae Boykins is close to being able to get a significant role on this team. And, uh, you know, he hasn't got much of a chance because Eric Ferguson's returned, but Coy Simmons, um, we like to be able to develop him and give him some minutes. So all three of those, you know, like to be able to get them in the rotation. And uh, Mike Hughes has started every game for us as a freshman. He's been tremendous. I mean, he he acts like a leader on the floor, and he does so many good things for us and uh, to help us win basketball games. That, that, that a lot of times that's like I can't take him off um, and, and sit him down. So he's been great. Hopefully some other guys can kind of develop in those roles. We do need him because it's such a, um, you know, like I said before, a long distance. Thank you, uh, Jared, and uh, uh, thank you, Coach. That's uh, all the questions we have for you. We do appreciate your time. All right. Thanks for having me. Thank you.